The argument from parapsychology, ESP, all this enormous flutter of phenomena is that these things demonstrate the existence of a non-physical world. Is that good evidence? I, I don't know of any evidence. Uh, the, there's no evidence that I can see. The experiments that are done, well, as, as an example, take psychokinesis, the idea that my mind can control events. It's awfully easy to fool yourself into thinking that you're influencing of events. But if you look at the studies that are done, the stuff that is published as science, most scientists scoff at this because it's all based on bad statistics, misuse of statistics. Uh, there, there's never a straightforward experiment in psychokinesis. One of the most sensitive experiments that we have is the microbalance. We can measure very, very tiny masses with a, with a microbalance. And now, why don't I, if I want to prove that my mind has an effect, why don't I just tell that balance to tilt? It's incredibly sensitive. Then I could quantify just how, how strong my mental effort. Don't do that. Uh, instead, for example, they, uh, they concentrate on a water fountain on making some of the drops go higher than the others. Which has to be measured statistically. It has to be measured statistically, and you stick all this in the computer and analyze it. Now, I can get any result I want by when I start and when I stop. When you select the data, the interval of the data. I, I select the interval. Well, it's baloney. Uh, well, some people w would argue that the, the nature of parapsychology is such that it, it only works on certain kinds of phenomena because it is not a physical thing. So the fact that we can't tip a microbalance is maybe a more physical kind of concept. You know, you, you can make up the rules as you go along, <laughs> it, uh, and then they do. <laughs> There's tons of this stuff, but it never leads to anything. One of the warning signs of bad science is that it never gets any better. Mm. So we've been, they've been doing parapsychology experiments for over 100 years. Never has there been a verifiable effect of a... a, a the, the claim is that they, they have. It hasn't gotten a bit better. We're right where we were. We haven't found any way to make to increase the effect. They can never turn up the volume. They can never intercept more of the signal. It works as well across the globe yes. as it does when you're talking right in a person's ear. Well, and they use that to show that, therefore, it is not a physical uh, a phenomena that relates to the space-time continuum. Well, what they're showing is that it's nonsense. That's all they're showing.